Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to tonight's unbox and watch party. I thought it would be fun to do an unbox and watch party and kind of bring you guys in on what I do when I get a new Club Grace box because the Club Grace box is just such a fun experience and I saved it. So if you saved yours with me, thank you very much. If you didn't, I totally understand because you get a new thing like this and they're so much fun to open. But if you saved and you're unboxing with me, thank you very much. So we are going to unbox this month's fashion. I'm going to try on the three dolls that you see here. Of course, Grace herself, so we can see how it fits on Grace, which it's going to fit like a glove on her because it's made for her. We're going to try on Elowen, and that fit is going to be great as well. And we're also going to try on Glamorous Elizabeth Bazell because the fit is really good for her too. So let's check out this month's box. All look inside there. Grace is a teacher. Welcome, Miss Fitzpatrick. And I think that's so cool. Oh, we got some VDC tissue paper, a coloring page by Diana Bining, which is, goes along perfectly with the teacher theme. So we've got, I think that her name is Dolly Dingle, and she's there giving flowers to Miss Fitzpatrick. And just look at all the goodies we have in this box. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So this is, we've got, these are some add-on things that we've got here. We've got some, um, ho like some knee-high, not knee-high, thigh-high stockings. So you guys can see those here and they're really, really nice. They're going to go with some of our other Grace fashions that we already have. I think they're super beautiful. Some other add-ons that are available are these pumps. How gorgeous are those pumps? Look at them and check that out. That is an add-on that's available to this box. There is still some of this stuff available. If you guys have not joined the Club Grace already, you can join and get some of this stuff. Um, there's not a lot of spaces left, but there is a handful. Then we've got some more add-ons. Look at these great t-shirts. Look at these. These are gonna be so awesome for mixing and matching with our different Grace fashions and the different things we get throughout uh, the rest of the year in the Club Grace. We've got a Club Grace sticker. Look at this, here we go again with Club Grace. Oh, I love this stuff, this is so cool. I wanna start like a sticker album and put all of these stickers in there with all of my Club Grace stuff because that's another thing. Like when I say unbox and watch, after I unbox all this stuff, we're gonna take it to the couch and I hope you guys can do the same or to your, wherever you like to watch your movies. And we're gonna turn on our movie, which tonight's movie is going to be Kindergarten Cop because I love that movie. When I think of movies about teaching in school, that's my favorite movie. I love movies like that. But anyway, I love action movies and I love movies from the 80s and 90s. So we also got some pencils. Look at that. Oh, that's so on theme. Superstar, brilliant and you did it how cool oh i love that you can never have too many pencils so i've got some pencils and let's see thank you teachers teacher appreciation week from club grace um welcome to our new subscription we are happy to have you here so let the fun begin sweet friends love grace and rachel i used to be a teacher y'all i did 10 years i did 10 years in the public school system teaching pre-algebra and algebra, that was the hardest job I have ever had in my life. Nothing compares to that. It was such a tough job. I loved it. I had to leave it for a new career, but it is such a tough job and our teachers are so underappreciated. I can say that with conviction. All right, so here is our Miss Fitzpatrick flower power suit. Y'all, this is a three-piece suit. I've watched Rachel's unboxing of this and it got me really hyped up to get this because I love a good doll suit and I love how tailored this thing is. But let's check out all of our other goodies before we get right into that. We've got here some paper cutouts so you can sit while you're watching your movie and do this too. Cut out your calculator. You can cut out your owl, your laptop. And she had hers glued to foam board to make it a little bit more like sturdy so you could do that if you wanted to I think that's a really good idea if you've got some foam board lying around or some cardstock this is already a really thick cardstock but you can add a little extra oomph to it and we've got Grace in the classroom look at that and then look at our snack y'all we got some skinny pop that is perfect for our movie we got a movie 
We've got some popcorn. We're gonna make some drinks after the video. So if you want to see the recipe for the drinks, stay tuned after the credits because we're gonna have some fun drinks. Apple flavored drinks to go along with our teacher theme for our kindergarten pop movie while we enjoy our gray stuff. So that is so cool. So we got some skinny pop. We've got, let's see what these are. These might be colored pencils for coloring our, they are. So we got some colored pencils for coloring our coloring page. This is really like an entire experience because we can sit on the couch, watch our movie, dress our doll, color our page if we want to, eat our popcorn or whatever snack. I saw some other people got different snacks in their boxes. Um, let me know in the comments below what snacks you got in your box. I just love the whole snack aspect. Club Grace t-shirt. And we got some erasers, some flowers. Oh, check these flowers out. These are too cute. A little bag. Look at the bag. Oh, I love it. So some gold stars. The We've got flour, confetti, erasers. We've got a caramel apple pop. Apple a day for the teacher, apple for the teacher. I love that. That'll be good too with our drinks that we're having later. So all kinds of fun stuff in here. Love everything. But what I really want to get down to is this suit. This amazing suit that we've got. This three-piece suit that was made by Ruby Red um, for Club Grace. And I just love the Club Grace t-shirt. Is that not so cute? I love that. That's really nice. It's again, this is just fun because we've got so much nice mix and matchable stuff here that we're gonna be able to do with our dolls. That's the good thing about this three piece suit too is that again, mixing and matching because we're gonna get a lot of fun fashions. We got a lot of fun fashions in the last iteration of Club Grace and we're gonna get a lot more fun fashions um, in this iteration. So, and I just like to show you guys, here's our paper doll for Club Grace and then We've got, hello sweet friend, happy springtime. Hope you're ready for a brand new bouquet of wonderful fashions for my dream closet. Speaking of spring, check out my new flower power suit. It sure puts a little extra spring in my step. Last time I wore this, I was substitute teaching in elementary school and it was the perfect outfit for a fun, busy day in the classroom. From strolling around the classroom, handing out worksheets, to bending down to tie shoes, to sitting on the floor for circle time, I felt energized and inspired all day long. The kids were so vibrant and excited to meet Miss Fitzpatrick that they reminded me of a garden full of beautiful one-of-a-kind blossoms and I was lucky enough to spend the day with them. I feel the same way about you. You know, if my Club Grace friends were flowers, I'd have the most beautiful bouquet in the world. No matter what, keep on blooming. That's why we're, playing, we're watching Kindergarten Cop after this because Arnold Schwarzenegger plays a substitute teacher and this, this movie is amazing. <laughs> like that's what makes this whole experience so fun for me is all the fun stuff in our boxes, all the add-ons you can add that are so exciting. But then I always pick a themed movie to go with my box to just enhance that experience and kind of prolong it. So that's what we're gonna do tonight after we finish this. So here is the suit and let's get it open here. And so I can show you guys how incredibly fantastic this thing is. And like I said, I've seen other people's unbox theirs and I've seen pictures. I was waiting, holding out um, so that I could do this on a Friday night and enjoy my movie and have my dolly experience. But we've got this nice white undershirt. I want y'all to look at this doggone blazer. I love this blazer. First of all, we've got a real buttonhole, a real button, a real fabric covered button. How often have you ever seen that on doll clothes? I can't recall that I ever have, to be perfectly honest, but it's a real working button with a real buttonhole and it's a real fabric covered button. So let's get it unbuttoned so you guys can see. Look at this blazer, it's lined inside. That quality is just absolutely stupendous. It is so awesome, it is so cute, I love a smart blazer but in a fun color or a fun print because it makes it a little more casual. And then we've got these tailored pants or britches as some of us in South Carolina would call them. We've got these nice tailored pants here that go right along with that blazer. And we're gonna check and see who all this fits. So first up, we know it's gonna fit Grace. Absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt. So I'm gonna try it on her first so you guys can see how it looks. 
this looks great on her. The tailoring is perfect. This outfit is so beautiful on her. I really love it. I'm going to try and it was not too difficult to put on y'all. I was worried because it is a tailored suit, like a tailored blazer and pants that it would be really difficult to get on. It was not difficult at all to put on, which is great for me. And you can pull this, you can pull this too in the front and button it, which I haven't done yet. That part will be a little tricky for me because of my fingers, but actually that's a lie. I got it right on. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, she looks great. She looks really great in this. I need to find her like a little necklace to put on, but I wanted to point out if you got, I can't remember which box this was in last year, but does Van Gogh's Sunflowers not go great? Haha, <laughs> get it, Van Gogh go. Does it not go great with this suit? Like it really does. If you look, the back of mine has, and I know the print's gonna be different, like print placement's gonna be a little different for everybody, but this looks great together. I want to try on, that's one of the things that's fun about these boxes too, is a piece from one month might go really well with something that you get a few months down the line. There's just, I mean, there's just so much fun stuff that comes in these things. So now let's try, I'm gonna try these new pumps on. I love these little pumps with the Pika toe, Pika toe, the peekaboo toe at the bottom um, and how that looks. Look at that, check out that, that footwear. It looks so good on her and it's gonna it's gonna work ish for Elwyn. and if you saw the trick I did before we can put something in the back of the heel but look check that out and the, the coolest thing of all is that Grace will stand on her own in these shoes look at this she is standing on her own not on her stand if I kind of rattle the table a little bit she still doesn't fall these are really really well designed shoes like really well designed especially if you're somebody like me like i actually don't leave my dolls on the stands in the cabinets because the stands take up too much room and i have too many dolls so i kind of put them sideways but when you have a really great shoe like this that your doll will just stand in it makes it a lot easier so now that we've seen grace in the outfit let's try it on ella one Next up we have Elowen and I just wanted to point out if you got the basic Elowen in the last Elowen release, her strappy sandals actually go perfectly, perfectly with this outfit. So I think that's a big plus if you're an Elowen lover and you're wanting to add to your basics wardrobe. I think it looks great on her. The pants are a little on the baggy side just because she's a little bit slimmer through the legs and hips, but I think the look is good. I think it looks good. Look, she's standing on her own. I love that. She looks so smart and so um, just well polished and put together in this look. I just absolutely love it. And look how easy it was for me to button that button. Y'all, I have a really hard time buttoning buttons, but that was easy for me. Maybe it's because the button is fabric colored. Maybe it's because it's a little bit bigger, so it's a little more tactile, like it's easier to get your hands around. But if you're a, if you're a button struggler like me, um yeah that's really great just look at the look at the seams of this blazer oh i love them i love them i want one like this for myself i love any i just love a fun fun blazer they're just i love it anyway i think it looks amazing on her oh she rock, she's rocking it they they they're just they're just so the cut is just so great i love um what is this called a lapel like it's perfect y'all it's absolutely perfect all right, so that's Elowen. Let's try it last on Elizabeth, and then we will move on to our movie time. All right, here's Elizabeth Bazell in the outfit, and she is taller than the Grace and Elowen dolls. So you can see it's kind of like a three quarter, it's a little more than a three quarter sleeve on her, and the pants are more like an ankle pant, but I still think it looks good, and I think it can work for yours if you want one. Another thing that I like about these dolls is they have this purse holding hand and Rachel has shown some, like there's gonna be some really cool Birkin bags that are available um, as add-ons later through Club Grace. And so if you have a Glamorize doll, she's got the perfect hand for holding that bag. And so I think that's something just to point out to let you guys know to be looking forward to. And I'm looking for that purple bag that I had earlier, here it is. And you can see she kind of just 
holds that very well. This bag has a smaller handle, but some of the other bags look really great in this hand of hers. So I think this looks really good for her. I think it's a win for all three dolls. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to the couch and I'm going to rent Kindergarten Cop. I think it's $2.99 on Prime. I think it's streaming for free on Stars, but I'm not subscribed to Stars. So I hope you guys will join me to watch that. I'm gonna bring a couple of other dolls out to the couch with me to try this outfit on them. I'm gonna eat my popcorn. I'm gonna eat my caramel apple sucker. And I'm going to drink a apple ginger beer and I'm going to show you guys if you want to know the recipes for the apple drinks stay tuned after the credits I'm going to show those really quickly so you guys can mix up a drink if you want to have one with the movie and your doll stuff as well so I'm really excited thanks for being here tonight with me guys and I hope you stay tuned I hope you watch the movie I hope you enjoy the movie I'm going to share on Instagram throughout the movie there's not a way for us to watch the movie live together but I'm going to share on Instagram throughout the movie in my stories and through reels some of the other dolls wearing this outfit as I dress them up so you guys can check that out and feel free to comment on there about the movie or how you're enjoying it or how you're enjoying your box. So again, guys, thanks for joining me for this truly one-of-a-kind doll experience. I can't wait for next month. It's such a fun thing to do and it just it's just such a it combines all my favorite things, you know, food, dolls, movies, all the fun stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to check the video description as well. If you want to grab one of these suits for yourself, they're not gonna last long. There's just a handful of them left and they're so beautiful. They're so well made, they're worth every penny. So make sure to check that out so that you guys can be informed and you can get your own suit if you want one. So again, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shower Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, Asia C, and Black Y. Thank you so much for your support. Your support helps me continue to bring you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please check the link in the video description. Thank you for watching. Our drinks tonight are apple themed since we're going with the teacher theme. I'm going to make the simplest one first and this is just an apple ginger beer. All you need for this is your favorite apple juice and your favorite ginger beer. You don't want to use regular ginger ale. You want to actually get a ginger beer. I got this one at Walmart. It's going to be in your soda aisle. It's not real alcoholic beer. It's just a ginger beer. So this is really, really simple. You just mix the two together. I have a fancy ice cube in mine. You guys can see and I did that for you know, pure effect. So you're just gonna mix in your ginger beer and then you wanna top it off with a little bit of apple juice. And you can kind of mix this to your own, you know, whatever it is that you like, your own taste and flavor. Very simple, fun drink, feels fancy. And we are gonna add to the rim an apple garnish just to make it even more fancy because we are having a fancy doll and movie night tonight. So there we go. There is our apple ginger beer. I'm going to give it a taste and see how it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. That ginger beer is like a little bit, it's like a, it's a really good taste. Mm-hmm. And it's a fun drink if you if you like mocktails. I like mocktails a lot. I like cocktails too, don't get me wrong, but I, I usually reserve cocktails for vacation. So I like mocktails if I'm trying to focus dress dolls and watch a movie. But feel free to add a little something extra to yours if you want. Now the next one we're gonna do is an apple mojito. You're gonna need some fresh mint. We have a lot of fresh mint here at the house, which is great. You're gonna wanna add some sugar to that mint. And I'm just gonna add like a teaspoon. I don't like my stuff real sweet, so I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of sugar. And then we are going to add the Martinelli's and we're gonna muddle that all together. So that's how we're gonna do that. And if you, I'm not a great mixologist, so if you have a better way of doing your thing, feel free to do it your way. But I'm just gonna mix these ingredients together. I didn't open this Martinelli's first. I don't, let me make sure I can get it open. Had to grab the bottle opener for this one. So you're just gonna pour your Martinelli's in. 
And I like the Martinelli's because it is carbonated and any good fojito is carbonated. And then we're going to muddle this mint with the sugar. And you, again, you don't need a lot of sugar because the Martinelli's already has a sweetness to it. So you really don't even have to add sugar if you don't want to. But when I'm drinking a mojito, I kind of like that little bit, I get a little bit of grains of sugar on my tongue through my straw, which I didn't grab a straw for this, but, um, but just kind of muddle that together and you're going to have that. And then I'm going to top mine off with a LaCroix or a La LaCroix, that's the way you say it, right? LaCroix. Um, I'm going to top mine off with that. So you just kind of top it off with the flavor of your choice, or it can be plain old, um, plain old sparkling water if you want. The Martinelli's is already sparkling, but you know, this is not pretty, but I just wanted to show you guys the basic recipe really quickly. Add another apple garnish if you like, and then give it a try. Ooh, ooh. I thought I was gonna like the other one better, but I don't. This is really good, mm-hmm. It almost has like a vanilla apple pie, like an apple pie and vanilla ice cream kind of flavor. This is the Limoncello LaCroix and the Martinelli's a little bit of coconut palm sugar. Oh my gosh, and that mint, mm, oof, that's good. Cheers. Now you can of course add some rum or vodka or Coconut rum, coconut rum would be good in that. Anything that you, or apple flavored vodka, anything that you want to add. I like the mocktail because I'm gonna go watch the movie and eat my popcorn and some snacks. But these are my two drinks. Let me know in the comments below if you try one of them and let me know which one is your favorite. If you try both of them, they're both fun. This one's super easy to make. This one takes a little more effort and I could probably have done a better presentation for you guys, but you get the basic idea. So thanks guys for joining me for this unbox and watch and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.